Earth is a beautiful place. But it won't last for long if we don't do something about it. Losing our future is not like losing an election or a few points on the stock market. We are here to speak for all generations to come. But, what does this have to do with technology? This video was produced for Alexandria University. Okay enough drama. What does this really have to do with technology? Let me introduce. Green computing. What's this? Green computing is the environmentally responsible and eco-friendly use of computers and their resources. In broader terms, it is also defined as the study of designing, engineering, manufacturing, using and disposing of computing devices in a way that reduces their environmental impact. You may be wondering how to make use of green computing in the best possible way? I'm going to answer that. Green computing is about reducing the environmental footprint of computers or of ICT in general. This is most commonly achieved by making data centers and computing devices more energy efficient, using more renewable energy sources, using less hazardous materials in computing devices, promoting device longevity, and making devices and other IT equipment better recyclable. Everyone has got a history, and so is green computing. One of the earliest initiatives toward green computing in the United States was the voluntary labeling program known as Energy Star. It was conceived by the Environmental Protection Agency EPA, in 1992 to promote energy efficiency in hardware of all kinds. The Energy Star label became a common sight, especially in notebook computers and displays. Similar programs have been adopted in Europe and Asia. So we still haven't explained why we should use green computing, or what does this have to do with the introduction of the video. Well, one of the main advantages of using green computing is saving our planet by reducing environmental impact. We also have got a lot of advantages like lower energy costs, longer lasting computing devices and the reduce of health risk for computer workers and recyclers. To be fair, everything's got pros and cons, so what are the disadvantages of green computing? The first one is high costs. Even though many practices associated with going green are supposed to save you money, green living can also become really expensive really quick. Keep in mind that green technology is often associated with much higher costs than the traditional way. Green technology is also time consuming. Know that adopting a green lifestyle, fully committing to it, will take up a lot of your time. Making your own cleaning or beauty products, for example, will take longer than a trip to the store. Shopping for organic foods is not feasible for everyone, especially if there are no farmers markets or natural food store in your area. As we reach the end of the video, I would like to assure that we have the copyrights for every shot taken in this video, thank you.